Hi, today we're going to be going over nice PayPal downloads with Joomla 2.5 and how easy it is to get set up and selling files online uh, making some profit. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to pop over to the administrative area of our Joomla website and it's the basic Joomla extension installation. Now um, when you first download nice PayPal downloads from our website you will see that uh, it comes in this unzip first package um, zip file and you do need to unzip that first because inside there are multiple different versions of the Joomla extension and they correspond to the version of Joomla that you're using so in our case we're going to use uh, Joomla 1.6 through 2.5 version of nice PayPal downloads so we'll just go ahead and say choose file and we'll select that and open and upload and install. Pretty simple. Uh, come over here to extensions, plugin manager because we need to enable the nice PayPal downloads button and we'll choose enable and I'm going to be working in the sandbox today instead of with my uh, PayPal live account so I'll just turn the test mode on and save and close. Then we come over to components, nice PayPal downloads, settings, and here we have an opportunity to put in our PayPal seller's email account or email address or our PayPal sandbox test mode email address. Uh, optionally, you can also put in your uh, merchant ID number that um, PayPal has supplied you. So let me go get my test account real quick and we'll say save that. Okay, that's saved and here we go to download profiles in the download profiles uh, right off the bat you've got all the messaging and everything that you'll ever need and you can edit it you can make other download profiles to go along with other items that you're selling um, the one main important thing here after installation is that you need to put a from email address into this from email address field and everything that gets mailed out from the extension will use that address so uh, we'll save that and we're ready to go there. Now there are a few extra steps that uh, I'm not going to go over in this video uh, in regards to setting up your PayPal account. Basically your PayPal account needs to be enabled, uh, it needs to have uh, IPN messaging enabled and that is all very well documented on our website. And if you go here to get started scroll down a bit okay your PayPal account settings and setting up auto return on PayPal pretty straightforward stuff very important though for the functioning of the website um, with PayPal and if we scroll down a little bit further securing your files you want to make sure that your files aren't um, publicly accessible to anyone who comes to the file folder uh, and make sure that they're not able to just download those directly so uh, pretty easy steps for securing those and you guys can read on that more later so pretty simple pretty set up we'll come over here to file manager we will um, choose the file my super awesome file to sell and I will say open and upload and there it is super awesome file to sell so the last step is to create a well, second to last step really is to create the item that I want to sell so I'll say new and I will call this super awesome file and give it a price and we select my file from the uh, file repository and the profile that I want to use or associate with this file and we'll save that there it is okay so now all we have left to do is to add this uh, sales button to the uh, to a Joomla article or a module or wherever you want to add that to uh, the important thing is we need to remember the ID number associated with our uh, file that we want to sell and in this case it's uh, two so let's all remember two alright so next thing is to go over to the article manager so we come over to content article manager 
and we'll click new and we'll give this a name my super whoops file uh, can't type today for sale and we'll give it some exclamation marks to make it extra exciting so uh, alright we'll leave the default category uh, we'll leave it published and I want to put it on the front page just so I can find it easy so we'll make it a featured item now this part is the uh, tag for adding the sales button to your article and it's pretty straightforward um, it's curly bracket nice downloads colon and then the ID number that we had to remember for the item that we're selling and that was two and a curly bracket to close it and we say save and that looks good so we're gonna come over to the uh, front end of our website and check it out alright so there's our super awesome file for sale in the buy now button if I click that takes me to my uh, test store where I'm able to make a purchase Let me get my test buyer email address alright and my test buyer email address password and I'll log in and I'm gonna buy this baby because I know that super awesome file is super awesome okay thanks for my order now I should be auto returned back to my website and I get my thank you message uh, basically the message uh, that's the default one from the default profile and it explains that I'll be getting a notification email uh, any minute with my download link provided that my payment was accepted by PayPal okay so let's go ahead and head over to our test buyers email account and we'll pop on over there and here we are and if I click in here here's my successful purchase message with my download link and if I click on that download link then it should take me to my download page which it does so here we go uh, nice little welcome it says thanks for buying the file and I can go ahead and download it now so I'll click download and there it goes download into my uh, local computer so that's pretty much it for the uh, nice PayPal downloads extension a uh, nice little overview it's pretty simple and straightforward to get set up and running uh, give it a try I know you're gonna love it have a great day